the Soldier's Pass Trailhead. Okay, and second hike of the day. Yeah, the hardest part is finding parking. So this lot is completely filled, and like three other people are trying to get parked, and one guy's waiting for the next one, just reading a book. But uh, we're gonna get this hike started. It's uh, 11 o'clock. Let's go, Instagram girl. I was running back. <laughs> Well, Courtney, fourth hike in two days, second one of the day. We're about probably at six miles now, seven yeah. for today. How are you feeling? I feel it. My bones <laughs> feel it. Goodness me. And then we got cathedral to do tonight. Yep. Three hikes today, but Five it is beautiful. Thousand. The last bits of climb, but we are here at the bottom. There's one cave there, another one up there. Here we go, check them out. A lot of cool rocks out here. Pretty cool cave. What do you think? Okay. All right, so Courtney is in the little, uh, it's an arch. So it comes down here. And then right there, yeah. Super nice. Let's see if I can see him. It's a little overexposed. That's fine. You know what it looks like out there. All right, it is 4:46. We're starting our third hike of the day to Cathedral Rock. Courtney is doing some research for one of our other trips coming up later this week and we're gonna catch sunset up here, so let's go. Make sure you show up really early to get good parking. We got one of the last spots in the lot, so we got really lucky for the sunset hike up to the Cathedral Rock. The ridge line was packed with people all enjoying the sunset. It was really cool that all of us hiked up there to watch it. The view from up here for sunset was super beautiful. We got a few photos and then found a spot for us to hang out and watch the sunset. This whole area in Sedona is just extremely beautiful and you're definitely going to want to check it out. Alright, so here's what the fire looks like at night. It's a really cool little cozy spot to hang out by the fire. And then around the corner is the hot tub at night. It has lights. Courtney's are not included. But really cool spot to look at the stars. We then stopped at Monument Valley and tried some Navajo fry bread for breakfast. Looks delicious. And what else did you get? The tacos. Tacos. And then got a. Uh... And I got a hot dog. Enjoy. Hey, cool views too. Right out there. The park is open from eight to five, and is eight dollars a person to enter. There is a 17 mile loop road with 11 spots to stop at and most of those spots the Navajo Nation has set up stands and are selling handmade jewelry that's very beautiful. Hey Courtney, what'd you find? Let me see them. Let's see them. Oh, some earrings. Those are pretty. Alright, we're gonna head off to the next spot. This valley was a really cool spot to stop at with sandstone rock formations that tower a thousand feet above the valley floor. We spent about four hours total in the park and the surrounding area, including a trip over to Utah to get this awesome view that was filmed in Forrest Gump with Monument Valley in the background before heading off to our next spot. All right, last spot is to get a photo here on the road with this really cool background. We then made our way to Horseshoe Bend to get this incredible view of the Colorado River. So we just parked the car. It is our third day here in Arizona. We are walking out to the Horseshoe Bend to get some cool photos out there. Courtney's all ready to go. Let's hit the road. Parking was $10 for our car for the day. It's one time use and then you just walk up this little walking trail up to the left here. Very easy hike. It says 20 minutes out, 20 minutes back.
And for our final stop on this Arizona road trip, we made our way over to White Pocket. We're making our way out to White Pocket and we found some horses out here. And uh, it's kind of like when we were in Iceland. No. No snacks? No fish food? This is a little one. Yeah. He's a little jumpy. And uh, this one found our car. He's like, what's uh, what's all this stuff? But these ones are checking us out. What do you think? They're very sweet. Are you going to take it for a spin? Alright, just bring it back full, please. Alright, so we decided to pull the car off in this little uh, pull-off section. We're going to park here and walk in the rest of the way. We have 8.8 .8 miles to go, but we've come all this way to get to White Pocket. We're not going to turn around now. Uh, but it's it's not like steep or anything. I just have front-wheel drive and it's the sand that I potentially get stuck in with this little Ford Escape. So we're taking everything that we'll need. Um, we're gonna bring some warmer clothes for later because it's gonna get cold. Right now it's 75, but at night it's been dropping down into like the 40s. So packing jeans, sweaters, and a jacket. Courtney's bringing leggings and a jacket. And uh, we're gonna hike out there. All right, we're starting our hike. It says we'll be there in about two hours and 50 minutes, which gets us in before the sun sets. So hopefully we make it. This is turning into a really nice nature hike. Very pretty. I'm trying to beat the sunset. I'm jogging some of it out. It's gonna be a close call. Whew, we made it nine miles and we have enough light left. So we just gotta catch up with Courtney. She's so fast. This is White Pockets. This is what Courtney wanted us to hike out here nine miles for. And uh, it's pretty cool. We have a little bit more daylight and then we're gonna hike back. I am exhausted. Courtney just got her drone shots up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>